Well, hello there. How's everybody today? And welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pen. I'm Larry. So how's your weekend going so far? Mine? Pretty good. Went to the movies, kind of kicked it back and saw Transylvania a Hotel. I guess it's, uh, it's really a cool uh, kind of a cartoon animated uh, movie. A lot of fun, entertaining, family. Uh, kind of picture, uh, just a movie to get away, get loose, and get a break. Peace. Back to business. Today is business. When I mean business, I mean business. The cross. Cross fountain pen. This is a cross 10 karat gold fill fountain pen. This is a slim pen, but not the slimmest. Uh, this pen, the uh, the widest point on the barrel is going to be right about in here is 0.37 inches. And the weight of this pen, there's some ink in it right now, not a lot, but 8.2 Gs. The length of this pen, like you see it, capped is 5.25 inches. And when you post it, it posts really secure, which I like, and this is how I like to use my pen when I write, and posted it's uh, 5.67 inches. It is a converter with it, and screw the barrel, and it's a cross converter. Not, not every cross will fit this pen, only certain ones will, I've learned that. And I'll just pull it out, and then push it back in. Uh, again, this is a 14K gold nib. A very nice, smooth 14K gold nib, if you can see that, kind of focus it. It really writes extremely well. I'm very pleased with the way it writes. Um, let me match up some pens. Well, one more of the pen, because I know some people out there, first of all, don't like chrome, don't like slim pens. I hear you. But these are for the people that do like. Oh, light went off. Action roll them. So here is the cross. 10 Garrett fill. 14K. Medium. Nice. Wonderful nib. And here is a, another cross pin. Chrome. But this is a slimmer version. Now the widest point of this pin right about in here, is going to be 0.32 inches. So a big difference, right? And the the weight of this pen is 15.7 Gs. Now this one is 18.2, so big difference. And the length of this pen is 5.2 inches. And again, this one over here is 5.25 inches. So you got a big difference going on. You got more grit going on with the gold field than you do with the chrome. And again, people that just cannot stand uh, fingerprints on pins, I would not recommend this pen. But if you're like me, that don't bother you. I'll just get a Kleenex or a polishing cloth and just polish it right off, and boom, voila, all the marks are gone. So. And the ink that I'm using in this pen is uh, one of my favorites, the Mont Blanc Corn Poppy Red. Now here's some inks that are close to it, or it reminds me kind of of this ink, but they're not close. Uh, this is the Waterman, the Audacious Red. Of course, it's this is a bit darker than this, but it just kind of reminds me of this. Last but not least, Mr. Announcer can do that one. The J. J. Urban Hematite. While he's doing that, well, too late. Anyway, uh, there is a rather more sheen, orange kind of, in this than it is in the corn poppy, but I love all three. All three are some nice colors, some of my favorite colors, so I'll uh, just go ahead and give you a blast of red with that. Now, the important part of the review is the writing right now let me let me say this before I get into writing I don't care what kind of pen you buy 
you can buy the most expensive pen there is. If you think that's going to help your penmanship, you're totally wrong. There's no pen that's going to help you improve your writing but you. It's going to take you, yourself alone, to practice on your handwriting. It can take a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. You're bonding with your favorite fountain pen or with any fountain pen, your ink or paper. And you're learning how to adapt that pen to your style of writing and take your time when you write. See, that's my big problem. I start out slow and I write, okay, nothing fabulous. But then I start to like I'm in a, a race. I'll just get real fast. It's still readable, but the writing kind of sucks. So, I have to kind of tell myself, slow it down, Larry. Take your time. But it's all about you. Take your time, practice, practice, practice. And that pen, whatever pen you may have, it's going to bring so much joy to you. So let me get some writing and I'll go from there. Let me open up my barren fig. So let's see how this puppy writes. Well, I know how it writes. I've been writing with it. All right. Wet, just like I like my nib wet. Nice and wet. Well, now we know this pen does what it needs to do, but this pen goes, in my opinion, a step beyond because it's smooth, it's wet, it just glides across the paper, which I like. And this cross pen is really a nice looking pen. On the finial on top, it's black. And that black kind of goes with that gold 10 karat fill throughout the pen. It really is a nice pen. It's got a nice clip, sturdy clip. Uh, so, when you go down the barrel, you see that beautiful black. It's, I believe it's going to be some resin with a uh, gold band around there. But this is not slippery whatsoever. Well, the whole pen is really not slippery to me. Uh... It's got nice weight. It's got a good feel to it. It's not slim, slim like the chrome one is. It's just a really nice fountain pen. Now, let's see if this pen writes upside down. Yes, it does. But you don't want to put down a whole lot of pressure on it when you're doing that. Just a real nice pen. And this is what I do a lot of times, is just practice. Will I ever get it down? Beats me. But I tell you what, I have a blast just doing what I'm doing right now. It's like going back to school and learning how to print 
and then learning how to write. Just a lot of fun. Cross, 10 carat gold fill, 14K gold medium nib. Just extremely nice writing instrument. I got to give it to Cross on this one. They did a great job. I believe this pen was probably either out in the late 60s, 70s maybe. I'm not really sure on the date. Thanks for watching me, my friends. Until the next pin video, stay safe, stay healthy, and don't text and drive. Talk to you guys later.